Hello, this video is designed for teachers to help them uh, manipulate join codes for Google Classroom, as well as uh, hide and show um, URLs for Google Meets using Google Classroom. So I'm gonna start right up here just by going to Classroom, okay? And you can see that I've just got it loaded right up here, but I am going to start brand new uh, with the brand new class of Google Classroom just to show. Okay, so I'm going to click up here and create my class. And I'm just going to create a, uh, a sample Google Classroom for right now. Okay, so if you haven't done any of this, uh, any of these things in the past, you can just do exactly what I'm doing right now, um, the same exact way. Okay, so my sample class pops up, you can see right there. Now, if you have invited your students and they're already listed down here in your students section underneath the people okay you can add them you can share out a code depending on if you're elementary or secondary or whatnot okay however the point of this video is to reset your join codes so that you don't have students uh, that shouldn't be in your class uh, in that class okay so if we assume that uh, in my classroom, which obviously I've just created right now, but in your classroom, you already have the, the appropriate students. Okay, if you come over here to your gear, that's gonna open up the class settings. Okay, and there's a couple of things that we can do as far as invite codes. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is come right here to where it says manage invite codes. And right now those codes are enabled. And I'm gonna click on that. And the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and reset that, uh, that code, okay, to join the class. And once I've done that, the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come right here and hit and click on disable. And what that's going to do is it's really going to prevent anybody from joining your section of Google Classroom uh, without you knowing about it, really, without your invitation to them first. Um, and so that's going to prevent... Uh, again, pre uh, it's going to uh, prevent students from being in that class that uh, you don't want to be in your in your section. Okay. Now, the other aspect is uh, that we wanted to talk about today is your Google Meet. So right here, I've just created this section of Google Classroom. So I'm going to go ahead and click Generate Meet. Okay. And I'm going to do that. And what that does is, and I'm going to click Save. And right here, it gives that link that I know a lot of you are already using with your students, okay? And right now, this link is visible to students, and your students can go into your section of Google Classroom, and as long as you are in that Meet first, they can join in and join your, your Meet. Now, uh, a problem that we're having is students joining, you know, without permission, kind of sharing out that code. And so we're going to try to eliminate some of those issues. I'm not sure if we can eliminate all of them, uh, but we're going to eliminate some of them by doing some of these steps. Okay, so let's say that your, um, that your Google Meet is over with. And, and so the first thing that you need to do is to understand is that when your Google Meet is over, that you have established through Google Classroom, and let's say it's from one to two o'clock. And at two o'clock, you need to tell all of your students that they need to log off and close out that section of Google Meet. Because as long as, as you, the teacher, are the first person in and the last person out of your Meet, your students can't get in that Meet without, your, without you being in there. Okay, so let's say that your Google Meet is it's two o'clock and you're wrapping up and all of your students have logged off or closed out of your Meet and then you had, go ahead and close out of your Meet as well. Go ahead and click that gear again and scroll down and we're going to do a couple of things and you can see that this is the same exact spot where we did our invite codes. If you scroll a little bit further down, you can see this, the, the little window here on Google Meet. Well, I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come right here to where my URL is. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to reset it. And so the next time my students go to use uh, the link in Google Classroom is a completely different link. Okay. 
And the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this switch, which makes this link, the link itself, the new one that we just created, it's not visible to, to my students, not yet. And I'm going to click Save. Okay. And now when we go back into our stream, you can see it's got the little symbol, of the eyeball with uh, that's sort of crossed out. And that just means that as a student, they cannot see this link. And so what that's going to require you to do on the, the next day or the next time that you are going to meet with, with your students, let's say that you're meeting at uh, 8.30 the next morning. Well, at 8.15 or whatever time you are ready as a teacher, you need to go ahead and co go back into your classroom, click on our gear, open up our, our class settings again, scroll on down. We don't have to reset this, this URL yet, but where it says visible to students, I need to turn that back on. Okay. And then when you click save one more time, this link is now uh, visible one more time for your students. And then you can just kind of repeat that process. Meet with your students, be the first one in and the last one out, and then go into your gear, and I'll do it again. Click on that gear, my meeting is over. Come down to meet, reset the link, make it invisible to students, and then the following day when you're ready, turn it back on. Okay, and then make sure you save your work. <laughs> And your links are, are new and fresh and just for you and your students. Hope this helps.